Praise the Lord. Open your Bible. Num Numbers chapter 9. And uh, while you're turning there, let me just read uh, a, um, a scripture that uh, Marion had in Sunday school this morning. Which was Numbers 10 and 9, right? Yes. Ten, numbers 10 and 9. Um, says, when you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresses you, then blow an alarm with the trumpets that you may be remembered before the Lord your God, and you shall be saved from your enemies. Come on, somebody. That's a word for each household. For each household that has come under the protection of this spiritual iron dome. How many of you have posted your iron dome uh, scriptures over your doorpost? Yeah. Hallelujah. The rest of you who have come, I still have a few uh, checking with me afterward. Uh, but uh, but I, I, I promptly, quickly, y'all don't hear me. It's not, just, I know that you, you can put the whole Bible and staple it to your doorpost, but it's not the same. It's when God gives you an instruction. When God and you obey because when we ask God for a miracle, He gives us direction, He gives us instruction. And sometimes instruction, hear me, sometimes instruction comes in the form of correction. That means we were off and we got to get corrected, we got to get on, get on track. In Numbers chapter 9, verse 15, we're just going to read the first little part. On the day the tabernacle was raised, the cloud covered it. The cloud put a, a protection, a dome, he created a covering over the tabernacle. And, and one of the most important factors regarding the cloud of God's glory is that it provides protection. The children of Israel, as long as they were under the cloud, were protected and they were people without shelter, people without covering, but the Lord said, I will be your shield, I will be your Well, for lack of a better, I, I know this is this is a, a, a particular race of people, gypsies, but uh, nomads. We're not nomads. We are not wanderers. We have always had we have always had a covering over us. The glory of God, the glory of of, of the the covenant of agreement has always been upon us. We've never been without. We are, I, I, you, you have to get that because, because, because the vulnerability again, I, I keep hearing the Holy Spirit t talk about being vulnerable and, 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 and you're being vulnerable by your own uh, choosing, by the things that you're, you're, the choices that you're making, but we've got to be sure that we are protected and that we are not just at, open to anything. It's kind of like. I was, I was looking at a map that was telling, uh, uh, with warnings from all the countries that, I mean, countries on our border, countries around us, that where, where if you go, you need to be protected from certain germs and diseases. Y'all don't hear me. See, I've been trying to, I've been trying to prophesy and tell you for the last few years, warning, warning, warning. And the, the, the funny thing is that, is that those who are so confident in themselves, those who are literally, and don't get offended, but every step you make away from trusting the Lord, you move into your own humanistic mindset. You're really putting your trust in yourself. You're, you, you, make, you make three steps away from the Lord every step you make towards self-reliance. Because if you think that you can go to school and you can go to this class or this, do, do this or do that and, 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 and cause your career to flourish, my Bible says that you are a child of God. Right. And a child of God's promotion is contingent upon the Lord promoting you, not your boss. Yes. Promotion comes from the Lord. Somebody. Amen. Oh, okay. Amen. 
When I first preached on God's Iron Dome for our homes, little did I know that we were coming upon the anniversary of September 11, 9-11. There was much talk over the internet about imminent threats regarding uh, ISIS being in Mexico and trying to get through to the U.S., but the Lord Yahweh kept us safe. Doctor. 
started, I was listening to the CD because she wasn't in service, and she said, I started laughing because you said all these crazy Christians uh, uh, um, toting guns and, and rifles and whatever. And she said, and just this week, I went to look at guns with my dad because he wanted to arm me. And let me just say, please arm yourself with the word of the Lord and with the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit. Come on, somebody. Help yeah. with salvation. Yeah. We're shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace, not war. Yeah. Oh. But I heard the Holy Spirit say, we're going to be delivered from, from fear. And, and I immediately thought about Psalm 34. And I thought about that portion when he says, I saw the Lord and he heard me. And I spoke this directly eyeball to eyeball to my wife yesterday because I was trying to speak to the spirit and I said, I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from yeah. all my fears. Amen. The formula, the key is seek the Lord, not your wife, yeah. not your husband, not your neighbor, not the stocks and the, 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 the stock market, not Which is coming, uh, what is it, uh, when, uh, Friday, I think. Friday, uh, Friday is coming. What do they call it when it's going public? IPO. IPO. And, and they were talking about the, it's just, it's making history. They were, they were saying on the radio, they were going, people are just, it's just going through the roof. And they were giving comparisons of other solid companies. And here, this this little Chinese man, y'all don't hear me because here's what. Let me just tell you. Let me just give you this little little bit of information. Just and, and, and forgive me if it's not perfectly accurate, but it's little pieces. Of what I understood, and I saw the I saw the stature of this this Chinese man who who started this this company, and he started with nothing, and he started in a country where they are under a heavy. And yet he started this company, and it is in this simple little idea has exploded into this global phenomenon. Yes. Come on. How much more will God's people, as we surrender ourselves to His word? Because look what Psalm 34 says. 
And I put on there, I, 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 on my comment I said, I look to the hills. From whence cometh my help, my help cometh from the Lord. Fear of 